Hey guys, I'm going to share a dream about what the Lord was showing me, the spiritual condition, and I believe also what's to come in the coming days for uh, some of the churches in the nation. And so I just want to share this dream. I pray you would take it to the Lord and um, seek Him concerning it. But I had this dream on November 11th, um, and in the dream, I walked into a large building that almost felt like a grand hotel or like a cruise ship and it was very elaborate it had um, a very elaborate staircase and lots of different programs in every room um, and I knew as I walked through the building that I was in a church there were some pastors there who I um, who I knew to be leaders of certain churches and um, I was there to kind of bring my kids into the church and try this church out. And But as I walked through the building that kind of felt like a, a cruise ship, I, the, the, what stood out to me most was that there was no light in the building. It was completely dark. Um, it was hard to see. And the, although there was a lot of programs and you could tell a lot of work had been put in to the building and to each room, um, the fact that no lights were on and that it was really hard to see made the whole experience really frustrating. And as I left the building, I then walked by the outside of this of a church building, and the glass there was huge glass walls um, that were basically showcasing how many seats they had in this church that I was walking past. But the, but the seats were all empty. And so it was this highlighting of, um, you know, all these, look at all these seats we have in our building. We want everyone to see. And it was almost like a fishbowl, like you'd be able to see uh, right into the building. But there was, and there were so many seats, but all of them were empty. And as I looked to the top floor, I saw another uh, level of empty seats that were just in complete full view. And so as I sought the Lord on this, um, the Lord was starting to just unpack for me through the symbols of the dream that the showing, exposing that some churches in the coming days, uh, I know we've seen a lot of the prophetic word from 2020 about exposure coming to churches and to huge denominations that had um, decided to idolize the pastor or go their own way in how they did church and not follow the Spirit of God. And we see, we've see we already seen some pretty um, major exposures in the church. Um, but the, the fact that the Lord gave another dream this just past week, I believe, was Him showing that there's more exposure coming. It could be in, in the very near days ahead. And that it, I believe... Um, speaks to a church that puts a lot into the programs and um, having really awesome programs for kids and all these events and things like that and that that is the focus which is why in the dream the inside of the church was dark um, for the, for it to be dark means there's no revelation there's no ability to see and discern truth but it's um, you know, you take whatever's in a dream and you translate it to um, what that means spiritually to have no light. Light gives us ability to see ahead. Light gives us revelation. And so the Lord was showing that even though this church was very elaborate and had a lot put into it, it didn't have the revelation and the light of what he is showing and saying to his people and so it really does them no good because there's no light in it there's no and light often represents truth and so um moving to the the second part of the dream with the fishbowl type church with all the seats but no one in them i believe speaks to a an exposure coming to some mega churches in the future that have so many people that go to these churches and that's really what they rely upon and what they are known for 
um, but that there's coming an exposure or something that will actually empty out the seats of these mega churches, whether it's something that's happening um, that the church has to close down and doesn't um, keep its doors open or an exposure to some of these churches or both. The Lord was really showing a coming judgment um, and a coming uh, purification to the church that would rid out um, anything that's being exalted above God in the church, His truth, the Holy Spirit, and what the Holy Spirit wants to say to the churches. Um, anything that's becoming idolized that is not bowing in obedience to the Lord Jesus in churches, we're going to see more exposure in churches and including some mega churches in the coming days. And so I believe our right response to this is to be ready and prepared for that um, and to not pray against exposure, but to pray that, um, that the church would respond in a way of love um, and also of conviction to what starts happening in some of these churches. And um, the Word of God, I know a lot of people will say, we're not supposed to judge each other. And they'll bring up the verse that, that says, you know, don't judge um, others lest you be judged. But there is a verse that Paul talks about that he says, we're not to judge the world because they're going living according to uh, a completely broken system. But we're actually, as believers, we are to judge the house of God and those in the house of God. And he's speaking to a man who started to have an affair with his own um, mother. I think it's his stepmother or mother-in-law. He's having an affair with someone um, that's not his wife. And the church is just sitting there not doing anything about it. And Paul says, it's time to um, call that man out and not let him stay in the church until he repents because he is a believer. And so the concept here is that Paul is speaking to is that we as believers are to, um, to in love confront and address sins in the church and sins in leadership and sins that are trying to be kept under wraps, but to bring them to light so that the church is not hindered by those sins and not kept in bondage to the sins of its leaders or the sins of people that are not being confronted and, and addressed. And that all is done in the spirit of love because true love embraces truth. True love welcomes truth um, and it's not afraid to speak truth because truth is what sets people free. And so we, as the people of God, as we see some of these exposures can um, be ready for them and be ready to pray and have open arms to those who are um, impacted by this exposure, but also to not bend a knee to culture and pretend like, um, you know, this exposure is no big deal. Um, no, the Lord is cleansing and purifying his church in this hour. So just let's be prepared for that. Let's have our hearts ready and be in prayer for the church of God that whatever purification the Lord needs to do, that it would be done and that there would be great healing and restoration and freedom brought to the Holy Spirit in the churches in the coming days.